we are hearing from Congresswoman Clark about the arrest of her daughter. She's saying tonight she doesn't condone violence against anyone. You at least tell us Riley Dowell leaving Boston Municipal Court, a not guilty plea entered on her behalf. The 23 year old daughter of House Minority Whip, Congresswoman Catherine Clark, facing several charges, including assault and battery on a police officer during a weekend protest. When police approached, uh, the defendant flailed, striking one of the officers in the face, resisted arrest, had several officers uh, take the person to the ground before placing that person under arrest. One officer had to be taken to the hospital after the struggle left him bleeding from his nose and mouth. Police say Dowell was also caught on surveillance video spray painting anti-police graffiti on the Parkman bandstand on Boston Common Saturday night. Riley entered a plea of not guilty. Is Riley not guilty? Again, everything about this specific case, I refer you to my statement. Congresswoman Clark sticking mainly to her statement, adding it's a tough time personally. I love all my children and Riley dearly, um, but this is a difficult time. Police say inside Dowell's backpack, they found a medical trauma pack, a first aid kit, a can of Rust-Oleum spray paint, and a can of Sabra red pepper gel. I condemn violence against everyone, whether that is against police or against community members as a result of, of any person or government entity. Dowell arrested along with another protester, Andrea Coletti, who's also facing resisting arrest and vandalism charges. Police say at one point about 20 protesters surrounded them and even stopped traffic. Dowell is expected to be back in court in April. She was released on $500 bail. We're live here in Boston, Charmance Kenny, WCVB News Center 5.